very clear that we haven't had the appropriate rehabilitation work. We've got to have success with the rehabilitation and rebuild strength and resilience. And when we have a disectomy, we are, we are, with a good surgeon, they're going to communicate this to you. And so when we have the herniation, the problem is not that the herniation has taken place. The problem is that the tissue damage to the annulus fibrosis has allowed the herniation to take place. When you have a microdisectomy, you're just chopping that off. You are doing nothing to deal with this. So post microdisectomy, you are still just as vulnerable as you were beforehand, I would argue. But nothing has been done to rebuild strength and resilience into that disc. You are no better off the day after the surgery than you are before in that regard. But understanding the problem, the root cause problem, which is the damage to the annulus fibrosis that has resulted in the nucleus moving to a position where it's caused you trouble in different regards is the problem. And so if we, if we haven't been doing anything to deal with that, the same factors that caused the herniation at L45 are still present. The same misuse of the lumbar spine is still present. The same forces that are not being contained, that are not being supported and protected from is still present. So it's perfectly reasonable that we're going to either re-injure the, the segment that's been operated on, as frequently happens, judging by the comments, or that we injure another segment. L4, 5 go together, hand in hand with L5, S1. Those segments are so closely related to one another in terms of dysfunction. And so that's why you're getting the pain, because we haven't done the rehabilitation work. Now add on to that a layer of complexity with the pregnancy. Um, you know, that's going to be tough, but you just have to do the best you can. You just have to do the best you can. Um, and you know, as you go through the pregnancy stages, you're going to have to modify certain things. You're going to have to focus a little more on trying to do symptomatic relief without making the problem worse. And then post the other side, once the baby's here, you know, very, very exciting. Um, you know, you, you do what you can as a new mum. And then when you get to a point where you can start to focus on yourself a little bit more again, which is questionable when that point comes, <laughs> um, but you, you try and get yourself, get yourself doing better again. And you will be able to, you will be able to. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. And then obviously there's considerations of things like C-sections if we've had those and rehabilitating the, the control of the core. Um, but you know, you can start that right now and you'll, you'll you'll at least be setting yourself up for the best possible circumstances.